What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to another episode of My Hero Academia, Season 7, Episode 20. Um, real quick, I'm gonna get this out of the way. I'm gonna do My Hero today as well as Bleach and then tomorrow I'll do Blue Lock with Oshinoko's final episode. Um, so yeah, if you were wondering. I, I mean, I can try and get Blue Lock up today. It just really just depends on how much trouble I have getting bleach up. I don't know if it's going to be a struggle bus or not, but we shall see. I already have this one down. I don't know what to do with this one, editing-wise. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, last time, um, we had that very emotional, I was a wreck, oh, that very emotional, um, just the whole episode, I was going to say scene for a second here, but the whole episode really was a, a Todoroki family moment. Um, of them really coming together and being there for each other. And it's, I think especially Toya. Um, so yeah, let's let's pick it up with this one and see what the aftermath of this, this is. Yeah. Ooh. She's just gonna cut it. So casually. <laughs> oh. So what? Oh man. You're gonna kill her right in front of her? She ain't gonna do it. That's not gonna happen. She might stab her, but I don't think she'll die. Mm. I don't know if I believe that. Did she throw a rock at it? How did it fall? Mm. I mean, I feel for her. Like, why is what I like not normal? Not everybody likes to suck blood, Toga. Dude. Oh! Wow. Nice catch. She cut her arm. What? Damn. Ugh, yeah. Your ear. Yeah, no. It's not that black and white. It is. Sometimes having a conversation is the hardest thing in the world. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, she's gonna stab her again, isn't she? Just myself. Mm. Damn! 
Yeah, I don't know what her intentions are. Mm. Wow. I mean, she's right. She can't just let you go. Man, she's still fighting. That's crazy. Ochako, you are a boss. This is so... It's just sad. It's sad to me. I know. That... Ooh. I guess. I guess today is that day. Look at that! That's insane, Toga! Wow. What? That's not gonna work on that swarm of fucking people. She's to save them. She's rescue. She's part of rescue. Rescue and recovery. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh, Chaco. She's gonna start coughing up blood, dude. I mean, she already did, but... More. Yeah. Ugh. I love how hard she's trying to understand her. It's just amazing. The, those steps that she's taking, like, most people wouldn't do that. They wouldn't try to understand why something i'm sorry why someone might have done something horrible you know what i mean i i mean and i say horrible because everyone's definition of that's going to be different slightly maybe most people's would be the same but clearly hers toga's is different i'm just saying um this all just like really boils down to her like liking something that's outside of the norm which is dictated by society what n normal is and because she's not normal, she's ostracized and like, but I get it, like, but this is the thing. Okay, let me go back and forth real quick. If you're intentionally hurting somebody, like you're cutting them just to suck their blood, like, that, you can't do that. You're violating someone's rights. You, you don't do that. Like, that's wrong. I mean, I feel like she has to agree with that. Like, you wouldn't want someone coming up to you and just like cutting your arm off, would you, Toga? No, you wouldn't like that. Okay, I'm just saying. But she's claiming that she never hurt anything like oh the bird just fell oh no she was already bleeding i was just sucking it up like eventually you did start intentionally hurting someone though um but again like when you talk to somebody else maybe a i don't know like a psychopath or sociopath maybe they would say well there's nothing wrong with that why is that wrong why, why does it make me a monster that i like to hurt people or i like to do these things whatever it's like I guess everyone's definition of that is going to be different, right? Like, that that's a subjective thing. I can understand you, but it doesn't mean I have to agree with you or like what you're doing. But then it's like, but then she's like, but because I'm different then, I have to go to jail? I have to, it's like, but you killed someone. She's like, but I don't, but maybe I don't th think there's anything wrong with that. So really, I guess it just boils down to what do the people in power think is wrong or right and worth or deserving of being put in jail or even the death penalty. I don't know. I, I mean, I guess that's... I'm getting... I mean, I feel like I'm... My, am I getting too, like, deep into it? But, like, it's just a really complex thing. I, I just... I don't know. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay, I just had, like, a really, like, fucked up thought. But, like... And that's another thing that I'm thinking, like... What if we were raised in a society where, like... Is the only reason that we think that it's wrong to kill is because we were raised that it was wrong to kill? Like, what if you were raised in a society where, like that wasn't a thing like like people didn't care like, if you went just went out and killed somebody else like there there's nothing wrong with that it's like kill or be killed well whatever i guess that you know what is that like darwinism so like i'm just saying like you know like the survival of the fittest sort of thing right yeah anyway that's just it's just it's just a matter of perspective in the world you were raised in and in the environment and like 
you know, I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Something to think about, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. Aww. Oh, Chaco. She needed to hear that. She probably never heard that. Oh, maybe not. From anyone outside of her friends. You know? In the League of Villains. Whoa! Oh, Chaco! She just freaking leveled up! Her quirk just evolved! She didn't even have to touch all them! Oh my god, Otako! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow, like Shigaraki's decay, kind of. Oh. Wow. <laughs> a girl's emotions. Now it's just a different girl we're talking about. It's gonna change the world. <laughs> Won't they float too, though? I mean, they're coming from your body that's already floating. Oh, she's losing too much blood, dude. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Chaco. Oh. Tell me how you feel. Talk to me. Toga, don't! Have you ever had someone in your life try to reach out to you this much and try to understand you this much? This girl is taking great lengths, so she better not hurt her. She stopped. But I'm just like, it's... Oh, it's fucking me up, man. It's getting me emotional. She's always been, like, misunderstood. And finally, like, someone is trying to truly understand you. Without judging you. And even if they don't get it, they keep trying to understand. And even if they don't understand, or maybe they do, I mean. And they don't agree. She still isn't, you know, like, retracting that hand, that owl branch. Like, she's still reaching out to you. She still wants to be friends with you. She still wants to understand you. Ugh. Or, like, you know what I mean. I said that already, but... Anyway, okay, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. Because it was scary. Oh, that's why. <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Oh. Wow. Perfect. <laughs> Maybe. But. I feel like you made a real friend today, though. Like, she really. She found someone else to understand her. Someone who's willing to listen. <laughs> <laughs> Achago has like such a beautiful heart. Oh my gosh. Izuku-kun <laughs> mo Chako-chan mo daisuki da keto. 
Two weeks in a row, son of a bitch. <laughs> they got me two weeks in a row. Uh, I know you can't really see my tears that well in my camera, but they're there. I promise you. They're there. I can see the wet spots on my shirt there. <laughs> uh, here we go. Evidence. Anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I've already said everything that I need to say, but yeah, I just really think it's a beautiful thing that Ochako really tried hard to, like, reach out to her and make sure that, like, she feels truly understood, you know? And, like, someone actually tried to understand her. And again, maybe she won't agree with everything you think is right or wrong or whatever. But I, I even feel like they took right or wrong out of it. And she was just like, I just want to hear you. I just want to, just tell me how you feel. What you think. I just want to hear you. And I can't take the place of League of Villains, but. That was, just, oh my god. But she's like, but I still like. Okay, I'm going to butcher it. I'm not even going to. Hang on. I, th I thought I needed to tell you how wonderful your smile is. Was. Is. Really. But she's not dead. But anyway. Um, am I cute? Because she's never been told that. She's always been told. She, she, her sh smile is creepy. She's creepy. She's scary. And. Everyone wants to be told that they're cute. Everyone wants to be. Who wants to. They, everyone wants to feel beautiful. Everybody. Like, she's finding the things that she can relate to her on, and I just love that. Like, trying to find the commonalities, the similarities, to bridge that gap, you know? And I just think, she didn't need to do that. She didn't need to do that, but she wanted to. And she did, just shows how big her heart is. To go to the lengths that she did to understand a person is, most people would not do that. They would give up almost immediately. And I just think, uh, I just think it's really admirable. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this up, because, uh, we have to react to, uh, well, two yes, but I might push blue lock to tomorrow, but I gotta do bleach now. <laughs> but, um, I don't know if I should react to the intro or not. I did, I put it in, I put that question in Discord, so we'll see what they said. But yeah, anyway, um, as always, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video, and if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that's in the description below, so please check that out and sign up to support the channel. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here, guys, and I'll catch you in the next reaction.